Susan comes occasionally to Hart, the homeless animal shelter, and talks to some of the kitties that we're concerned about, like Bonnie and I would, would sponsor a, a session. And um, this, I, I had met this, when I was first taking photos, Warren said, don't even think about getting another cat. And I said, okay, I'm, not, I'm just gonna take pictures. I'm not thinking about getting another cat. So um, I go over and I start taking pictures. And I, I mean, there were a lot of cats at that point. And I took a lot of pictures with this one little guy. And he didn't even come over to me or anything. He was just in this round. He just, he just looked at me and I went, do I know you? I just, it was, there was something, I just felt like I knew him. And so I sent Susan his picture and said, Susan, I, do I know this guy? I feel like I know this guy. And um, she said, or she said, well, I'm going to be out of town for a week. So when I get back, you know, we can talk. And then I was out of town and I thought, he's a cute little kitten, you know, he's going to be taken fast. So um, I got back from my trip and he was still there. And I said, wow, how did he, how is he still there? And uh, oh. so I set up this communication. We'll tell you why he knows still there. So um, Susan came over to talk to some of the other cats and I said, okay, finally, we need to talk about this little guy. His name was Freddie. We call him Cooper. I said, I really feel like I know him. He had come over and he was playing with somebody's shoelaces. And I said, she said, oh yeah, you know him. He knows you. You guys have been together before. And um, I said, well, here's the problem. I've got two cats and we, everything is very copacetic at home. We don't want anything to upset the apple cart. And she talked to him, she asked him about that. And he said, I will charm them. <laughs>